Hello students, once again welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fine. I hope you have seen part one of the national income chapter. So here I am back with part two, where we will discuss two sector model with savings and investment. So in this video, I will discuss, I will include savings and investment in the two sector model. So let's start. I have already said you that in two sector economy, we consider households and firms, right? So this, the outer loop we have already discussed, households, they supply factors of production to the firms, right? So you can see the arrow, the, this arrow, the factors of production of being given to the firms, the factors of production, for example, land, labor, they flow from households to firms, right? And in return, firms do factor payments. So here the factor payments, they flow from firms to houses, right? And houses, they buy from firms. So they do consumption expenditure. That is, they spend money on goods and services produced by uh, firms. So here money is flowing from households to firms. So consumption expenditure, you can see. This is just going to firms, that is money is going to firms in the form of consumption expenditure. And goods and services produced by these firms, they are flowing to houses, that is they are being sold to households. So you can see this arrow, right? Till here we have discussed in the part one of national income. Now here we introduce saving and investment. So I will discuss with you in detail saving and investment. First, let's discuss it, see the this diagram. Households, this do saving, that is, they save a part of their income and they deposit it in the banks or financial institutions. We refer to the banks and financial institutions as financial market. So, saving flows from household to financial market and then firms, in order to undertake the protection process, that is, in order to produce more, they do investment. So, where do they get money from? They get money from financial market, that is, from banks. So, money flows on financial market to the firms in the form of investment. So I will say again, houses, they save a part of the income, is deposited in the financial market, banks or financial institutions, and from financial market, the savings of houses, they flow to the firms in the form of investment. So let us discuss it in details. So here we consider houses save a part of their income which is known as savings because here we assume that houses they don't spend their entire income instead they will save a part of it in part one of my video you will see the houses they spend their entire income but here we assume they will save a part of their income which is known as saving right <clears throat> when houses save the expenditure on goods and services will decline to that extent. That is, the expenditure on goods and services will decrease to the extent of saving. That is, suppose out of 1,000 rupees, initially they were spending all 1,000 rupees. But now, suppose if they are saving 200 rupees, so expenditure will decline by 200 rupees. And as a result, money flow to the business firms will decrease. Why? Because... The entire consumption expenditure, which is done, which was initially done by the households, all thousand rupees, that will not flow to the firms. The expenditure on goods and services will decline by two hundred rupees, suppose, because they are saving two hundred rupees. Now, with reduced money receipts, firms will hire few laborers, or they will be decreasing wages. Now, we are considering since firms. They are getting less money from the households because households are spending less. Now, since firms are getting less, now they will either decrease the production, so they will hire few laborers, or there will be a decrease in wages. So the wages will decrease because firms will have less money receipts with them. This will lead to fall in total income of the households which may lead to fall in country's national income. Now, wages, we know wages are the income of the households. Now, this will lead to fall in income of the households. Now, since the household's income are, is decreasing, we will assume that national income of the country will also decrease. 
but savings by households will not lead to reduced income. It is flows back into the economy. We know savings by households which leads to reduced national income. But if we assume that it will flow back into the economy, it will not lead to reduced national income. How? Because we are assuming all savings of households come into the financial market. So it is again being put into the economy in the form in the financial market. So what will happen? Firms will borrow these savings from the financial market and expand its productive capacity. So firms invest on machines, they buy more factories so, so, so as to increase the productive capacity. So we see those 200 rupees, it will come into the financial market and firms will borrow the savings from the financial market, not necessarily the financial market will give 200 rupees, the entire 200 rupees to the firms because it will keep a part of it because all of a sudden if the houses, they come to borrow their <coughs> savings, which they put in the financial market. So they keep a part of it. The financial market keeps a very negligible part of it with itself and then the remaining part, they lend it to the firms in the form of investment. Thus, to investment expenditure on machines, factories, instruments by borrowing the savings of the households deposited in financial market are again brought into the expenditure stream. And as a result, total flow of spending does not decrease. What happens? Again, it is being pumped into the economy in the form of investment by the firms. So savings is done by the household. It is deposited into the financial market. So a part of it is invested by the firms in the form of investment, right? From the financial market, they borrow the savings of the households. So again, it is being pumped into the economy or it is being injected into the economy. Thus, there would be equilibrium in the circular flow of income if savings is equal to investment. That is contractionary effect of savings on the level of income. Now we know there is a contractionary effect on the level of income because of saving. But if the expansionary effect of investment on the level of income is equal, there would be equilibrium. If we assume the entire savings is invested by the firms from the financial market, they borrow the entire saving, then there would be equilibrium in the circular flow of income if savings is equal to income. But if savings is greater than investment, sorry, I is investment here. If savings is greater than investment, income flow falls. Because it implies whatever income leaks out from the circular flow of income in the form of savings, it is not neutralized by an equivalent injection in the form of investment. That is, savings is greater than investment. This decreases the level of income. Again, I repeat, whatever income leaks out from the circular flow of income in the form of savings is not neutralized by an equivalent injection in the form of investment, which will decrease the income flow in the circular flow of investment. If savings is less than income, income flow increases. Now, what happens if investment is greater than saving, income flow will increase by because excess of investment over saving, what does it imply? Whatever income leaks out from the circular flow of income in the form of savings is more than neutralized by an injection in the form of investment. That is, suppose there is a savings of 200 rupees, the investors, they do not only invest that 200 rupees, but maybe they are saving a little part of it, maybe they have some surplus savings with themselves so they are investing more so what happens the income flow will increase they, that will push up the level of income in the economy right if savings is less than investment or we can say investment is greater than saving thank you for watching my video if you like my video do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon bye bye have a great time soon i will upload part three as well please watch my videos bye bye